Control the speed of your cultivation using the 24 hour temperature control. The daily temperature, average temperature over 24 hours determines the speed of development of your crop. The 24 hour temperature is therefore a good parameter to control your crop and steer it. Depending on the state of your crop and the amount of light, you, as the grower, will have a desired daily temperature. The 24 hour temperature regime helps you to achieve this desired temperature. You control the temperature in your glass house with a ventilation and heating strategy. The graph shows an example of such a strategy spread over four periods. For the daily temperature control, it is recommended to align the ventilation and heating periods. The daily temperature control calculates an expected temperature based on the temperature for ventilation and the heating temperature. This is the blue and red line in the graph. In other words, what would be the 24 hour temperature as the ventilation or the heating set point is exactly realized. As a user, you can set a desired 24 hour temperature. This set point is preferably between the calculated 24 hour temperature on the basis of ventilation and heating. The graph shows the green line as desired 24 hour temperature. The next step is the calculation of a desired temperature in each period based on the 24 hour temperature set point. The green line follows the strategy and in my case this is exactly between the heating and ventilation temperature. If the temperature would exactly follow the desired temperature, the set point is realised. This is not obvious in a glass house. For example, in sunny conditions, the temperature in the glass house rises, shown by the green line in the graph, despite opening the windows. This means the daily temperature would be higher than expected. In these sunny conditions, you adjust the temperature actively with the ventilation strategy. In this case, the ventilation strategy is therefore influencing the temperature. Depending on what you expect, you can select the ventilation or heating strategy as lead for the realization of temperature. If you expect high temperatures, set the ventilation as leading. If you expect low temperatures, set the heating as leading. In the graph, the measured glasshouse temperature is now displayed until the end of the second period. You will also see that the sunny conditions create a temperature deviation at the end of the second period. However, the deviation is not only the area above the ventilation set point, the temperature deviation is the area above to the expected temperature. Because the expected temperature is what I want to realise to achieve my 24 hour temperature, in other words, the area between the temperature measurement and the expected temperature is a temperature deviation. When I do not make an adjustment, the temperature in the glass house will be controlled on the basis of the ventilation and the heating strategy. The graph shows an example of this with a dotted line. This means therefore that there is a large part of the day the temperature is above the expected temperature and the 24 hour temperature therefore becomes higher than desired. When I start to use 24 hour temperature control, I get additional possibilities to adapt the strategy to achieve the desired temperature. I choose to correct the temperature in period three and four. The correction means that the temperature set point can be increased or decreased in period three. The end period is used to slowly adjust the corrected strategy to the original set points of heating and ventilation. Because I use period four as end, period one is set as the start period. In the graph you will see two dotted lines representing the adapted strategy to achieve the 24 hour temperature. As a user you can set which period you want to apply a correction. How many degrees relative to the leading control you want to correct up or down. The difference between ventilation, heating, the dead zone should be minimal. The green hatched area you see is the rate of temperature correction. Notice that the modified strategy results in a lower temperature in the night period. This is to correct the temperature deviation of the day period. With the automatic adjustment of the ventilation and heating strategy, the temperature deviation of the day is now corrected in the night period. This will result in a lower glasshouse temperature as shown in this example. In this way, the desired 24 hour temperature is also actually realized. With the 24 hour temperature control, you get an easy way of controlling the development speed of your crop.